Nothing gets the nostalgic heart racing like a look back over some of your favorite cars from yesteryear. Everyone remembers their best 90s rides, whether it be for the speed, the precision, or the downright craziness. It was undoubtedly a fantastic era for motor engineering. I'm Glenn, and let me transport you back to our younger years with these 15 banging vehicles from the 90s that we still have dibs on. Number 15. The Dodge Viper SR1 was the very first generation of the famous Viper sports car, tested in 1989 as a prototype before acting as a pace car in 1991, and finally being rolled out onto the shelves in 1992. As with many Dodge cars, the Viper was nothing if not powerful. With its 8-liter V10 boasting a top speed of 165 miles per hour, the Viper could also roar from 0 to 60 in just 4.6 seconds before covering a quarter mile in 12.9. There was always a satisfying rumble from the Viper's side pipes every time you revved the engine, but this car was more than a powerhouse. The steering capabilities were truly ahead of their time, even if the brakes did leave a little bit to be desired. Absolutely mental, but stupendously brilliant. Number 14. Forget us looking back on this 90s car from 2019. The Nissan Figaro was retro even for its time. Nissan revealed four slightly strange concept cars to the public at the 1989 Tokyo Motor Show under the title Back to the Future. All four were based off the same K10 Nissan Micra, but with individual and playful retro designs. The Figaro was one of those four a little two-seater convertible that threw things back to the classic Italian cars of the 1960s. All four of the retro Nissans sold out in a matter of weeks, and a total of 20,000 Figaros were created, many of which now reside in the UK. A small front-engine, front-wheel drive retro convertible that despite being based on the past, is still remembered far into the future. Number 13. Proof that quality beats quantity, the Lister Storm was truly one of the greatest performers of the 90s, despite there only being four vehicles produced. Production began in 1993, but due to its staggering price, not many storms made it out of the factory gates. In fact, only three have survived to this day. Lister does maintain its own racing models, however. Through the 90s and even into the early 2000s, the Lister Storm was the fastest four-seat Grand Tour car, featuring the largest V12 engine fitted to a production road car since World War II. The Storm boasted a blistering top speed of 208 miles per hour and could race from 0 to 60 in just 4.1 seconds. Number 12. The Plymouth Prowler, later referred to as the Chrysler Prowler, was produced between 1997 and 2002, and it certainly isn't a car you will forget in a hurry. Chrysler engineers are said to have had completely free reign in terms of design on this project as long as it fit the Sportster and Retro Brief. What we were left with is essentially a hot rod with a mustache. The Prowler is certainly unique to look at, and it was beautifully unique to drive, too. Despite only sporting a V6 engine, it still had a similar horsepower output rating to the Magnum V8s of the same era. Paired with its lightweight body weighing in at just 2,832 pounds, the Prowler could really shift off the line. Number 11. Made in the bubble era of Japan car design, the Toyota Serra encapsulates the wonderfully weird world of the 90s. Manufacturers in Japan were able to design with freedom during this time, filling every conceivable niche with quirky cars, including the Serra. Unfortunately, the vehicle was only ever sold in its homeland, meaning Americans were unable to experience the silly joy that it could bring. The 16,000 Serras made came with a 1.5-liter engine with 110 horsepower and ridiculous gullwing butterfly doors. 
It also weighed in at just 2,000 pounds, making it agile and nippy too. Perhaps one to leave in the 90s, but look back on with fond admiration. Number 10. If you thought the Sarah was a bit weird, welcome to the Daihatsu Midget 2. The Midget, unsurprisingly, is a single or two-seater mini truck created by the Japanese automobile manufacturer Daihatsu. But this strange little truck wasn't a flop, selling an impressive 80,000 in its first year of production alone. The second generation, an update on the 1957 version 1, was in production from 1996 to 2002. The second gen definitely looked to be more stable than the original three-wheel truck that resembled something between a Reliant Robin and a Tuk Tuk. Each Midget 2 was equipped with a 660cc engine, meaning it wouldn't break any records, but it could get you from A to B with ease. Number 9. The Honda Acura first burst onto the scene in 1984 as a concept vehicle, but later hit the shelves in 1990 for the public to purchase. A mid-engine sports car, the NSX changed the game in terms of supercars. For a long time, supercars had been more about visual appeal and crazy speed than perfect performance. But Honda really put the pressure on the likes of Ferrari with the NSX, an all-aluminum body, a 3-liter V6 engine, aerodynamics inspired by an F-16 fighter jet, and even input from motor racing legend Ayrton Senna, Honda really thought this one through. It's safe to say that anybody who was lucky enough to drive one of these was not in a hurry to hand the keys back over. Number eight. The original Volkswagen Beetle is still one of the most iconic designs of all time, whether that is for the right or wrong reasons. The new Beetle was introduced in 1997, drawing inspiration from its predecessor, but sporting a front engine, front wheel drive design. VW really played a binder with this one as they combined the nostalgia around the original Beetle design, but combined it with affordability, safety, and fun. The fastest model boasted a top speed of 131 miles per hour and could go from 0 to 60 in just 6.5 seconds, so the Beetle didn't hang about either. Retro meets modern. No wonder the new Beetle flew off the shelves. The fact VW commissioned at least six extra versions of the car reflects its popularity among people from all walks of life. Number 7. To this day, the Porsche 911 is one of the most household names in car history. Porsche released the GT1 in 1996 in order to compete in the GT1 racing class, but they were rather sneaky with their design. Most car manufacturers would develop a racing version of one of their road-going cars, as vehicles had to be road legal to meet requirements. Porsche, however, flipped the table, designing a race car before making a road-going version of it. Only 20 to 25 street-legal versions were created, but boy, could they move with top speeds of 191.4 miles per hour and zero to 62 in 3.9 seconds. The race version could go even further though, with a top speed of 205 miles per hour. The GT1 finished first and second in its class at the 1998 Le Mans 24-hour race, riding it into history. Number six. From a legendary performer to an underrated classic, the Isuzu Via Cross. This compact SUV was produced between 1997 and 2001 and came fitted with bags of character. Don't let this slightly quirky exterior paint job fool you. This futuristic looking vehicle was a tough, robust, highly competent off-roader. The majority of the 6,000 made across the four years were sent to America at a time when SUVs were really hitting their stride. The beauty of the Via Cross is that not only was it slick on the tarmac, but once the road ran out, it really came into its own. With a top speed of 114 miles per hour and zero to 60 in 9.3 seconds, this vehicle should always 
be remembered as a resounding underdog in SUV history. Number 5 For any car fanatic, the name speaks for itself. The F50 was released in 1995 as part of the 50th anniversary of Ferrari, just as the F40 had been 10 years previously. This most recent birthday present was all about linking the road and the track, with Ferrari basing the design around its racing cars. It was effectively an F1 car for the road. They used a carbon fiber chassis, a V12 engine, and a four-wheel independent suspension in this beast, and it didn't disappoint. The F50 could do 0 to 60 in just 3.8 seconds and reach a staggering top speed of 194 miles per hour. Happy birthday indeed. Number 4 Hummer, synonymous with a no-nonsense attitude, overwhelming size, and battering ram style power. The H1 was no different. Designed as a four-wheel drive utility vehicle and based closely off the earlier military Humvee. The H12 was originally designed purely for military use but hit the civilian market eventually due to a high demand. It was produced between 1992 and 2006, although it was originally known simply as the Hummer before GM bought the marketing rights and changed it to the Hummer H1. Built to go places a vehicle shouldn't be able to go. It's no wonder people remain so fascinated with the H1 for so long, and it is still looked back on with fondness today. Number 3 Even the name sounds fast, and car fans will know all about the F1's pedigree. Originally a concept by Gordon Murray, he was eventually able to convince McLaren founder Ron Dennis to back his project. I'm sure all involved are wholeheartedly glad they did, as the F1 went on to make history. In 1998, the XP5 prototype became the fastest production car ever, reaching speeds of over 240 miles per hour, a record that lasted for around seven years. Not content on being a lightning-fast road car, a race version of the F1 won the 24 hours of Le Mans race in 1995, simply one of the finest feats in motor history. Number 2 In its light gray paint job, perhaps one of the coolest looking cars of all time, like something straight out of a James Bond film, the Jaguar XJ220 oozes class, style, and elegance. But don't let it fool you, this resting Jag can pounce into attack at any moment, reaching top speeds of over 214 miles per hour. Jaguar also claims that a prototype broke the record for a production car. Believe it or not, the classic XJ220 came about from a concept car designed by informal Jaguar employees in their spare time. When first revealed in 1988 at the British International Motor Show in Birmingham, this Jaguar became an overnight success, convincing the company to change its original plan not to sell the iconic car to the public. Around 1,500 deposits were taken after this unveiling, with delivery set for 1992. Number 1 Released in 1990 as a long-term successor to the iconic Countach, the Diablo would remain in production for the next 11 years. Designed by the infamous Marcello Gandini, the Diablo is racing from 0 to 60 in just 3.9 seconds and replaced by the Mercier Lego, rounding off a trio of groundbreaking Lambos. Number 2 And there we have it, 15 incredible cars from the 90s that we remain fond of to this day. But you guys must have some more ideas out there. Feel free to add your favorites that didn't make the cuts in the comments below, and maybe they will make a future video.
guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.